this is your tutor Mr. Ngatia and uh, this is a continuation of what I began doing in my previous videos that I've already posted and uh, in this case I want to actually be able to explain to you how again a distance between two points can get obtained by having a look at those two points lying in different hemispheres but now along the same longitude have a look at the following i may have a point like p and a point like r the coordinates of point p can be 20 degrees north and 100 degrees west good and i may have a point r whose coordinates or whose points are 10 degrees south and 100 degrees west now there's no need for you to make a sketch unless a question demands that you make a sketch just have a look at the points then ask yourself are they actually on the same latitude or on the same longitude are they on the same equator or what is really actually happening if you look at this we have the longitude here i told you the first part is the latitude and the second part is the longitude the first part is the latitude the second part is the longitude so the longitude here is 100 degrees west the longitude here is 100 degrees west that obviously tells you that these two points are found on the same longitude so if they are found on the same longitude then they are obviously found on a great circle and in that case the formula of getting the distance in kilometers will be theta the angle subtend at the center of the circle by that arc divided by 360 good the sum of angles at a point and you say times 2 times pi then times r the radius of the earth good the theta can get obtained by looking at the latitudes what did i tell you in my last video if the two latitudes are in different hemispheres we always add them together different hemispheres addition gets done same hemisphere subtraction gets done so in this case they are actually in different hemispheres north then south and that means one is actually at the top part of the globe then the other is at the bottom part of the globe north at the top south at the bottom the equator is actually in between the two of them so in different hemispheres is the equator good so i'll come here and say my theta is actually obtained by saying latitude sum latitude sum why because they are in different hemispheres addition gets done so latitude sum divided by 360 2 pi r okay so latitude sum so we say 20 plus 10 which is 30 so this is going to give us 30 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by a radius 6370 good so that is going to be my answer in this case so i'll say 30 divided by 360 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 2 multiply by 6370 good so my answer is 3336.67 so we have 3336.67 kilometers that means points p q and points q r are actually having the same distance in between them okay if I'm done with that part, I can be told to actually get the distance in kilometers. That's what I've actually done. And then in nautical miles, I'll just say 60 times theta. What does that give me? I'll say 60 times theta, the latitude sum. Why? Because they are in the simple way, different hemispheres, 20, 10. So we add latitude sum, latitude sum theta good so 60 times 30 because our theta is 30 good theta latitude sum 30 so the same same theta 30 degrees 30 degrees 
So we get 1,800 nautical miles. Okay, so if that one gets done, then you can actually get to that point where someone gives you something like a glove, a student, and if this is the equator, this can be now the prime meridian or the Greenwich meridian, then someone gives you a latitude of this type or even a latitude of this type. Then the person can say, let this be 70 degrees north or let this one be 50 degrees south. Someone asks you to get, okay, the radius of this small circle. Because I told you all latitudes are small circles. So how do you get the radius of this small circle? If the radius of the earth is given. Because it will give you the radius of the earth with capital R as 6370 kilometers. Then they will tell you the latitude is actually 70 degrees north. So how do I get the radius of this small circle? The formula is easy. So the radius of this small circle gets represented by a small r, a small letter r. So I'll say the radius of latitude 70, with small letter r, is equals to the radius of the earth, capital R, times cos theta. Good. The radius of the small circle represented by letter R is equals to the radius of the earth 6370 kilometers multiplied by cos theta. Now what is the theta? 70 degrees north. This is the angle this latitude can subtend at the center. So that means times cos 70 degrees. So I'll pick my calculator and plug in those values to get the final answer. And uh, I have 6370 multiplied by cos 70. Good. So what is the radius of that? 2178.67. So we have what we call 2178.67. The radius of that. So that means the radius of this part or this latitude is 2178.67 kilometers. Thank you so much, and let's meet in our next video.